Hi everyone, welcome back to UK Property Accountants, where we help you with all your property accounting needs. Today we're going to delve deep into ATED. This is a tax that affects UK residential properties owned by non-natural persons, such as companies or partnerships. So what is ATED and why does it exist? ATED stands for Annual Tax on Enveloped Dwellings. It was introduced in 2013 to discourage the use of corporate structures to avoid or reduce the tax liability on high-value residential properties in the UK. The idea is that by taxing the entity that owns the property rather than the individual who lives in it, the government aimed to make it less attractive to hold the high-value property indirectly through company. Who needs to pay ATED and how to value your properties? ATED applies to non-natural persons who own UK residential properties valued above £500,000 on a specific date, which is usually the 1st of April of the previous year. Non-natural persons include companies, partnerships with corporate members and collective investment schemes. Residential properties include houses, flats, apartments and bungalows, as well as any land or gardens that are part of the property. The value of your property for ATED is based on the open market value, which is the price that the property would fetch if it was sold on the relevant date. You can use a professional valuer or online tools to determine the value of your property. However, you should be aware that you are required to revalue your property every five years for ATED purposes. For the five chargeable periods from 2023, the revaluation date is the 1st of April 2022. You must revalue the properties you owned on or before the 1st of April 2022, using that date that is the 1st of April 2022. If you acquire property after the 1st of April 2022, use the acquisition date. How to calculate and pay ATED and when to file an ATED return. Once you have the value of your property, you can use the valuation bands to calculate the amount of tax you need to pay. The valuation bands are ranges of property values that correspond to different rates of tax. For example, for the tax year 2024 to 2025, the lowest band is £500,001 to £1 million, and the annual charge for that band is £4,400. The highest band is over £20 million, and the annual charge for that band is £287,500. You can find the full list of valuation band and annual charge for each chargeable period on the HMRC website. An ATED return must be filed in advance on or after the 1st of April for the chargeable period. That is returns for the period the 1st of April 2024 to 31 March 2025 must be filed on or after the 1st of April 2024 but within the 30th of April 2024. However, in case of new acquisition of the property, a TED return must be filed within 30 days of acquisition. In the case of newly built property, a TED return must be filed within 90 days of the property becoming dwelling for council tax purpose, or its first occupancy, whichever is earlier. To pay a TED, you need to file an a TED return and make the payment by the respective dates of a TED return due date for the year. You can file your a TED return and pay your a TED online using the HMRC website or you can use a paper form if you prefer. You should keep a record of your ATED return and payment for at least six years, as you may need to provide evidence of your compliance in case of an inquiry or dispute. What exemptions and reliefs are available and how to claim them? There are some situations where your property may be exempt from paying ATED annual charge, or you may be able to claim relief to reduce or eliminate the tax liability. Some of the common exemptions and reliefs are property rental businesses, if you rent out your property to third parties on a commercial basis and you do not use the property for your own benefit, you may be exempt from ATED annual charge. Property developers and traders. If you hold your property for the purpose of development or resale and you do not use the property for your own benefit, you may be able to claim relief from ATED annual charge. Property occupation by employees. If your property is occupied by a qualifying employee or a qualifying partner of your trading business, and the occupation is necessary for the performance of their duties, you may be able to claim a relief from ATED annual charge subject to the conditions. Charitable purposes. If your property is owned by a charitable company and is used for charitable purposes, you may be exempt from ATED annual charge. Farmhouses. If your property is a farmhouse and is occupied by a qualifying farm worker, you may be able to claim relief from ATED annual charge. 
Please note there are specific conditions attached to each exemption and reliefs which need to be adhered to benefit from such exemptions and reliefs. To claim an exemption or a relief, you need to file an ATED return and indicate the reason for your claim. You should also keep supporting documents and evidence to justify your claim, as you may need to provide them to HMRC if they ask for them. What are the consequences of non-compliance and why it's important to follow the rules? If you fail to comply with the ATED rules, you may face penalties and interest charges from HMRC. Some of the common penalties and interest charges are Late filing penalty If you file your ATED return after the deadline, you may be charged a penalty of £100 for the first three months and £10 for each additional day, up to a maximum of 90 days. Late payment penalty if you pay your ATED after the deadline, you may be charged a penalty of 5% of the unpaid tax after 30 days, another 5% after 6 months, and another 5% after 12 months. Incorrect return penalty. If you file an incorrect ATED return, either by mistake or deliberately, you may be charged a penalty of up to 100% of the potential lost revenue, depending on the severity and behavior of the error. Interest charge. If you pay your ATED late, you may be charged interest on the unpaid tax from the due date until the date of payment. To avoid these penalties and interest charges, you should file your ATED return and pay your ATED on time and accurately. If you have any doubts or difficulties, you should seek professional advice. We hope this video has helped you to understand ATED and how it applies to you. ATED is a tax that affects certain UK residential properties owned by non-natural persons. You need to value your properties, calculate and pay the tax, and file an ATED return by the deadline. You may also be eligible for some exemptions or reliefs, depending on your situation. If you fail to comply with ATED, you may face penalties and interest charges from HMRC. Therefore, it's important to follow the rules and seek professional advice if you need it. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And if you need any help with your ATED compliance, contact us now and get a free initial 15 minutes discovery call. We look forward to hearing from you soon.